Hi, I'm Valerie. Welcome to a special video edition of the Frugal Frog Column from ToosYourWellness.com. Today, we're going to be making felted dryer balls. And I have this gorgeous mound of alpaca fleece, and that's how we're gonna get started. So take fleece, whether it's alpaca fleece or wool, and just start rolling into a little ball. Now, I was lucky enough to be able to connect with a local alpaca farmer who I found through the farmer's market. You might be surprised to find that there's an alpaca farm near you and you can get your hands on some fleece like this. But if not, you can do this project with wool batting, which you should be able to find at a fabric store or at a quilting store. So you want to start the whole process by making just a tiny little pea of a ball. That's going to be the bottom of a much larger ball as we get going here. And it's important to make sure that you cross the fibers. Crossing the fibers is what makes the wool felt. These felted dryer balls are a good alternative to dryer sheets because they are chemical free. They're still gonna reduce the static in your clothes. And as a bonus, they're actually gonna speed up your dryer time. So you're gonna use less energy and you're gonna save some money. If you think your ball's starting to look a little bit messy, don't worry, the felting process is gonna make it look nice and round and tight. Keep your layers nice and thin. You might be tempted to go thicker as you get going, but it's important for the felting process. It'll felt better if the layers are thin. It's gonna take you 15 or 20 minutes to roll each ball, but we don't wanna watch me do that for 15 or 20 minutes, so I already have one done. You want it to be about the size of a softball. It's gonna shrink down to the size of a baseball. You can make them any size you want. If you want them bigger, go bigger. And I like to have three in my dryer at a time, so I've got three here. Next step is to grab some nylons. These are pantyholes, I just cut them off. You can use knee highs as well if they've got to run. No problem at all, you can just recycle them. So, you're gonna snatch up your ball, push it down into the bottom of the nylon and tie a knot. You want it to be pretty tight because you're definitely trying to maintain the ball shape here through the process. So you'll do that with each of your dryer balls. So if you do more than three, you just keep going like this and you make a, a little bit of a chain of balls in your nylon. Last one, and we're ready to start felting them. So what you need is some really hot water. And tap water is fine if you can get it hot enough. You don't need to boil it because you are gonna get your hands in there. And a little bit of natural soap. So I'm using Castile soap here and it's got a lavender scent, so that's nice. You're gonna submerge your balls. Right away, you're gonna feel that they're starting to shrink up a little bit. And you really, really wanna massage them good. This is the process that's essential to making sure that they felt properly. So make sure that the soap gets in there. Probably see that my water's a little bit dirty and that's because I didn't clean the fleece beforehand. Like I said, that's just fine. You're gonna go through this process, really massage them for about five minutes and then you're going to want to rinse it out and do it again. Two to three times, you want to make sure that it's coming out clean if you are using fleece that's not so clean. So do that two or three times. Then you're ready to let them dry. It's going to take 48 hours or so for them to air dry, or you can pop them into the dryer and they'll come out looking a little bit like this. It does shrink down to about a baseball size here. Those are good to go. There's a little bit of hair, that's totally fine. I always like to add just a tiny little bit of lavender oil and they're good to go. Now, if it starts to fall apart at all on you, just repeat the soap and water, rinse and dry process and they'll be as good as new. Happy chemical-free laundering.